Hi friends, so in this tutorial um, I'll create a script that will delete all the files that are more than let's say uh, 15 days old. So in my previous 5-6 tutorials I covered the basics of this, uh, the basics of the get content command and then how to create a script, how to identify files with more than a certain number of days. So if you don't know how to do that you can uh, view those tutorials in which I have explained these things uh, in very detail and this one I'm just going to go over very quickly over those concepts um, so let's get started now in here um, let's see so I have this uh, directory called temp now in here I have some files that are very recent and I have some files that are very old so once I create the script it, what it will do is that it will de de delete all those files that are more than 15 days old so let's get started now the first thing that uh, I'm going to be doing is that uh, this directory this is MIC users uh, admin and then documents and temp so I want to be working with that directory so I am going uh, to set the uh, uh, let's say directory and I'm going to be putting in the location it is in the C users and then admin documents and then temp so this is if I click on it C users admin documents temp so it's this directory now after this what I'm going to be doing is that uh, I will identify aged files so I will create another variable called aged and what I will do is that I will use the get date command and I will uh, minus or deduct 15 days from it new time span new span not new span new time span and then this 15 so let me just go quickly over this one although I've explained it in other tutorials but I will just go over it quickly so that I could explain this so this get date command it serves the current date and time so today is 16th of June and this is the time now what uh, does uh, the new time span does so it is the new time span so this command uh, shows us the dates hours minutes on all those things of the days that we've specified so in here let's say we are specifying one or let's say make it one so it says one day 24 hours, uh, 1440 seconds, uh, this many seconds and this many milliseconds. So this is how it identifies a single day and if you it put in two, it will show in two days. So why is it used? We can use this to deduct these many days from the current time. What do I mean by that? So let me clear the screen. Let me type in get date which shows the current time and date and then if I type in something like new time span and then specify this 15 or oh, let's make it 10 so that it will be easier to understand this so previously if I see let me just get date again in here so get date it's 16 of June so in here we are saying uh, new time span is 10 days so what you do is that you get the current date this is a minus sign and then deduct 10 days from it so if you deduct 10 days from it, uh, it will be 6th of June, this current time. So this is how you can deduct time in a PowerShell to, uh, so that you can identify uh, files um, that are older than a specific or a certain number of days. So what this line in here does is that it identifies all those files that are more than 15 days old. Now the next thing that you are going to be doing is you are uh, creating a variable called listing and what I will do is that I will say get child item what it will do is that it will uh, show the contents of on show, it will show the contents of what the directory variable what is the directory variable this one so this holds the location of this temp directory after that we are saying um, so if you want to go recursively we don't need to go recursively uh, if you have my, multiple uh, directories inside your temp directory this one so if you have uh, other directories and you want to go through those as well so you type this option recurse however we don't need it because we don't have uh, those 
directory is and then uh, I'm saying where object so I'm piping it out to the where object commandlet and after that I am saying that find each of the files whose last write time so whose last write time is less than each and once you do that what uh, I want you to do is so in here what it does is that it goes through each of the files in this directory and it will find all those files that are less than LT stands for less than age so it will find all those files that are less than 15 days old so in here the aged variable holds the time uh, that is more than 15 days ago so what it will do is that it will identify all those files that are more than 15 days old after that you're saying that remove item so this is the commandlet we are in here you can see the pipe uh, pipeline in here mm. So what it does is that if then we are piping it this previous output to this remove item commandlet and once we do that we are saying remove item however in here we need a few more options how we might not need it but it's good to type in uh, something like force so that some items that might not be removed you can force it i will uh, I, I think i have created a tutorial if not i will create on the different ways of using the remove item commandlet and different options that you can use with it including force uh, so and then another option that you are using is that error action so if you receive some error what you do is that silently continue so ignore the error and just continue don't show anything like error. sometimes in python um, let me show this as well so something like abc what you do is that you type in this receive this error because partial doesn't recognize it so we are saying if you get any uh, error while deleting those files maybe they are read only or there's there's some other problem with it you can't find it or anything uh, just silently continue so this is it uh, what you do is that uh, what you do now is that you run this now let me um, so this script is in my documents directory uh, so this powershell script this is the one this one can see that this is power chill script now so let's see this this is the directory that I want to use now in here uh, all those files that are more than uh, 15 days old or these ones hobbit.txt license.txt you can see the date modified so it's 15 currently it is uh, I think it's yeah June 16th so it's May 12th so it will identify all these files so it's one two three four five six so after we are done with it it should delete six files so how many files are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so currently there are ten files once we run this script we should have only four so let's run this let's go back to the directory now you can see that we have only four of them what it did was that it's removed all those files that were more than 15 days old so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below if there is any particular topic that you want me to cover uh, just put it in the comment section below and uh, i will see you guys in the next one